In an online game, a young woman and man virtually meet each other. Eventually, they meet in real life. Not long afterwards, the young woman is found seemingly brutally murdered in her own apartment. Even worse, her younger sister and mother are also found seemingly murdered in the same apartment. Last but not least, the young man, Kim Tae-hyun, is also found at the murder scene with the deceased bodies. What in the world happened? Today, we are going to delve into the Kim Tae-hyun stalking murder case, which has outraged Korean citizens. Because this is an ongoing case, I emphasize that anything stated in this video our allegations, opinions, speculations, or information gathered from third-party articles or reports, so please do your own research. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to join me for this journey, please like the video and subscribe. It would help me a lot. Also, news outlets state that a lot of the information gathered are allegedly Taeyeon's answers to police interrogation. Now, let's go back to when the young woman and man met. After the two met in an online game, they met in real life. And on one of the last alleged days that they met in real life, the young woman allegedly bought Taeyeon a meal. Afterwards, text messages were found between the young woman and an acquaintance. In the text, the young woman told her acquaintance that Taehyun would repeatedly call her with different phone numbers. She further stated that he wanted her bank account information, seemingly because he wanted to pay her back for the meal that they had. She states that later, he changed his phone number again and told her, This is the last time. You better think carefully. She states that because it was annoying, she just sent him her bank account information. Later, Taeyeon somehow found out the young woman's home address and was seen at her apartment complex on several occasions. One eyewitness reportedly stated that she saw Taeyeon sitting around in the apartment complex at a time when most residents weren't around and there was no one outside. Another eyewitness also reportedly stated that he or she saw Taeyeon in the apartment complex and asked him what he was doing. Taeyeon allegedly told his witness that he was waiting for his girlfriend who lived on the 10th floor. Now, before we go further, you might be thinking, how did he find out the young woman's address? Well, allegedly. He found it by a seemingly harmless and random text message that she sent him. Somewhere in the picture was a package with the young woman's home address. On the day of the alleged murder, Taeyeon was caught on CCTV footage walking in and out of a PC bang that the young woman frequented often. Later that day, it's alleged that Taeyeon disguised himself as a delivery man who brought a package and went to the door of the young woman's apartment suite. The young woman's little sister opened the door to retrieve the package. As the little sister came out, Taeyeon allegedly began his attack. Approximately five hours later, the young woman's mother went inside the apartment. Lastly, the young woman came to her apartment and saw Taeyeon. When she asked where her family was, Taeyeon allegedly responded, I sent them. Several days passed. Taeyeon was found inside the young woman's apartment, where the young woman, her little sister, and their mother were found dead. Certain entities state that at the scene, there was so much blood that a normal person probably wouldn't be able to stand it, 
let alone stay in the same space for several days. Now, what's gotten this case so much attention can be attributed to what I'm about to show you next. Some experts state that Taeyeon's public apology seems rehearsed and devoid of any actual remorse. Some state that a likely reason he told the official to let go of him is because psychologically, and apparently, Taeyeon is the one giving him orders, and technically, the official does lose some control of him. Some believe that he's putting on an act so that he can get leniency on his sentencing. Authorities state that they are set to begin a psychopath analysis on Taeyeon to opine on whether or not Taeyeon can be categorized as a psychopath. Now, as some of you may know, much of the time, criminal suspects in Korea have their identities hidden and undisclosed to the public. On the contrary, authorities have decided to disclose Taeyeon's name and face to the public due to the incriminating evidence, the likelihood of this being a deliberate premeditated attack, and the fact that the underlying charges are extremely violent and thus are a danger to society. All in all, what a tragic case. Well, that was Illumi thus far. I'll see you soon.